Greetings. It is a fabulous 40 degrees on Saturday, the 19th of December, 2015. And I'm back in the boat yard. I uh, haven't been doing much lately, but <laughs> I figure um, since, you know, it's nice weather, even, you know, it's cold, but since I'm going to be doing this during the winter, I might as well go ahead and jump on it. So what I'm doing, you know, people are scarce. Lots of goodwill, but you know when you need them, it's kind of hard. So, since I have um, what I want to do, you know, early in the winter and um, into the spring is I have to shape the Kielsen that I built. So the Kielsen is 54 feet long. It weighs about six, seven hundred pounds, and I need to actually take it off of the strong back, turn it upside down, almost as if the boat would be upside down. So. Um, in order to do that and to work with it like I want, I'm building like a gantry crane here in the backyard. It's nothing fancy, uh, but let me show you what I'm doing. So um, I hope you can see this, but I've got this uh, four by four. It's a four by four that I was just using for something else, but I'm building these uh, braces at the bottom and on the side. And um, then at the top about, I don't know, seven feet off the deck, I'm going to build braces across and then I will simply get one of those um, winches from Harbor Freight or somewhere and lift the Kielsen up off of the um, strongback. And so I've chosen a point that's about the center of mass of this thing. Uh, it's about two feet off of where the actual center of mass but um, it's close enough. I wanted to put this uh, crane or winch um, on one of the frames, as you can see here, one of the frames of the strong back to tie it in pretty good. And so I did that, it's, you know, maybe it's about 18 inches off of the actual center of mass, um, but it's close enough. So, and you know, when you're working with large items, it's about uh, lifting um, where it's easy. So if you lift in the center, you know, it's kind of balanced and gets a little easier to handle when you've got people helping you to maneuver it. So once it's in the air, I've built these uh, little posts, as you can see, that are on the strong back. They're just tacked in place. I don't have them um, permanently affixed because they're not really going to be permanently affixed, but I will uh, straighten them up and put a little screws in them. And then um, a two by six beam goes across and the strong back will rest on that while I shape it and cut it to its final size and um, put epoxy on it. But this is just one of the projects I'll be working on over the winter, um, of course, as weather permits. So I hope you guys enjoyed the holiday uh, video that we posted yesterday, um, the six YouTube channels. And that was all thanks to Mo and Dre, Monique and Dre of uh, Sailing Vessel Paragon. It's their idea. And of course, we all collaborated and, you know, wanted to um, put some holiday cheer back in the world. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, try to get a little more active. Things have kind of calmed down. Uh, my regulatory situation, I had a really good <laughs> uh, interaction with the city uh, last week. So, um, yeah. Things are moving forward, and um, we'll keep building this boat. All right? If you've got any questions about what's going on or how you can help, yes, I actually will still uh, love to have help. Let me know. And until next time, peace and blessings.